exploding mailboxes in the town of Shirley. And surveillance cameras captured the suspects leaving those dangerous explosives behind. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story. Andy Burns was putting in a new mailbox in post today. Not what he wanted to do on a holiday. But this is what his mailbox looks like. A twisted mass of metal. It's almost like an, like an M80 that uh, was used. It was it's a double explosion. But watching what happened from my video cameras, my security cameras, if that went off and even in his car, or afterwards the car came up behind him, if that car had gone by just as it went off, it could have hurt somebody. This is Andy's surveillance video Friday night. A car pulls up at his mailbox. Then you see the flicker of a lighter that somebody is placing something in his mailbox. Then the night is lit up. Whatever he has, where did he get it? Mm -hmm. On this day and age with people using explosives, it's not funny. And on the other side of Shirley, this past weekend, another mailbox was blown to pieces. Residents here say this is no prank. Well, I think the problem is somebody can get hurt. You know, you use an, uh, you use an explosive device, someone's going to get hurt. And what if the device doesn't detonate right away? I don't know, or it couldn't explode and the person would go back and check it. Oh, and good then point. Explode on them. Yeah, oh, right. maybe a That's delayed it, yeah. delayed result. Yeah. yeah. Right. And this is, in fact, a federal offense. That would involve postal inspectors and possibly the FBI. In Shirley, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.